Good morning. Hello, everyone. How, no, my picture turned out crappy. It has nothing to do with Lycra. Um, so I'm going to flip the camera and give... Here, there. You're not... We're live. Okay. I don't know what you hit, but you can hit the camera around. Nobody's watching yet. Okay, that's good. So, I know that everybody, including myself, is really stressed out. There's a lot of new things to worry about and navigate. And oh, you're one person. There's one person watching. We're just giving everybody a few minutes to get logged in, or not logged in, but get watching. Today we're going to talk about how to use Lycra on the circular knitting machine. Circular sock machine. So, I want to thank everybody who has been ordering yarn and lycra and supplies. I know we've got a lot of time to knit right now, and it sure is nice to have orders still coming in. I'm so blessed and so fortunate to be able to be sheltering in place with my children, plus one child, and um, I'm having a good time. I don't know. One of my natives is getting a lift. A bit restless, maybe two. I'm not sure, but we're trying to make the best out of it. So, I want to talk to you today about how to use lycra. Now, okay, so you've got a choice. The the cobweb lycra that's sold for the circular knitting machines. Uh, sold in a two ounce cone. I can't tell you how many pairs of socks it's going to do, but it's going to do a whole big bunch. You have white, you have taupe, and you have black. I'm having a hot flash. <laughs> it's got to come off. Okay. I prefer the taupe and the, well, I don't hardly ever knit with dark yarn, okay? But if you knit with dark yarn, you need the black. The taupe, I think, is the least showing. The white will give the sock a little bit of a heathered look, which I don't mind. Now, I know someone out there really minds it a lot, but it's not me. So, at sock school, we developed this Lycra extension bar, okay? This is for machines. This is for the Gerhardt style machine. See how my mask is set wide apart? Okay? This is to go if you have the mask that's set right here okay you put your lycra extension right here all right then we're going to run the lycra from this hole to this hole okay now this is how i do it okay i don't want to put a lot of drag on the lycra to make the sock a lot smaller okay i'm not using lycra to make my sock smaller so what you would do is if, if you had the one, the mask, the Gerhardt style mask, this attaches to what would be this hole right here, okay? And then the lacquer is going to come up through the black hole. Then it's, from the black hole, it's going to go straight to the furthest hole on the mast, okay? I don't even put it in my heel spring. I just run it along down through there, and it meets up with the yarn right here. Okay. What? Why don't you put your like retention on your Because if you have a wide mask, I know, but you're showing you how to do don't it. need it. You want to show me how to show you how to do it? Yeah. Okay. This is this is not planned, people. This is what you get when you have live video. Armchair quarterbacks that think they know what they're doing because now people are going to watch this video and think that if they have this kind okay. of mask, then they need it, but they don't. Okay. This is only if, because what we want to do is we want to take our light graph from here to here. We just don't want any drag, and we don't want it getting caught up in any of this mess right here. Okay? Because the light graph will get caught up on stuff, and you just, it, it, it can make a mess. And again, it's worth practicing. Um, I have really been enjoying using the light graph. So, I'm going to show you how I do it, 
and get started. Whenever I change my yarn, I always wait till this last needle closes. I'm going to cut the yarn. Okay. Now I'm going to bring my project yarn in. Now, with this machine and with this yarn, I have my tension set, and this is a 54 cylinder. I have my tension set to where I knit all the time with the heel spring engaged. Okay? And I'm actually going to knit a little pair of short socks. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to anchor. Well, this is going to be a hung hem pair of socks. So, so I don't have the mess, I'm going to go around one time, okay? Then I'm going to engage the heel spring for my yarn. Then I'm going to bring in the lycra. Like I said, this is just how I do it. There's lots of ways to do everything, okay? But I can get you started. Some people run their lycra along with the yarn through this. That did not work for me. It created too much drag and changed the sizing of my sock way too much. I use the lycra because I think it helps the sock hold its shape. So when I start the lycra, what I'm going to do is just twist this around like so. I'm just gathering it together. I'm going to cut off this extra tail because it makes fuzzy little messes. Can you see all that? Are you getting this, Jeff? There, that light's kind of bright. That light's kind of bright? Yeah, but I think I got it. Okay. You can see see how funny the lycra looks? Alright. So, now what I would do... Reset my counter, and I'll trip it one time because I went one time with the heel spring and the lycra not engaged. And I'll introduce the lycra into the machine. It's really that simple. Did, hey, did anybody say anything? One person did not go bad and read it. They, one person left a comment that you didn't read. I was paying attention. You were paying attention. <laughs> okay. Well, that's really all there is to there is to using the lycra. So I'm gonna let you guys go now. Dorinda says hi. Hi, Dorinda. Did you stop the video? No. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna let you guys go now. And I wish you guys happy cranking in this time of stress.